Hi, welcome to ERP Next Tutorials. On saving any document in ERP Next, a unique ID is assigned for it. You can further change this unique ID by using renaming feature. Also, you can use renaming feature to merge two documents. Let's check how to rename a customer. Open a document to be renamed. Click on Menu. Enter new name for this customer. Check this field if you want to merge this customer with the another customer which has same name. Customer ID has been renamed. On the same lines, you can also rename other documents for which renaming is permitted. Now, let's check how to rename a masters which are maintained in a tree structure. Expand the tree, and click on the account to be renamed. Let's assume that we need to rename this account. Click on rename. Enter new name for this account. Rename. This is an renamed account. Once a document is renamed, its value is also updated in other linked transactions. For example, once a customer is renamed, new customer name will be updated in the existing quotation and orders for that customer. If you have many documents to be renamed at the same time, you can use rename tool for it. Using this tool, you can rename document by importing values from the spreadsheet file. In the spreadsheet file, values should be entered in two columns only. In the first column, enter existing ID of a customer. In the second column, enter new ID required after renaming. Save file in the CSV format. Select a document type. Let's assume that we need to rename customers. Attach a CSV file which contains data of old and new customer names. Click on Rename. Customer IDs has been renamed. Using this tool, you can also rename other masters in bulk. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.